Shweta Ali Bagh, Chief of Bureau with Evasion and Defense Universe at Athens. Well, I am standing in front of Metropolitan Expo, the hub where DEFIA, the biggest Mediterranean defense show, is going to start from tomorrow. DEFIA 2023 is going to begin from tomorrow here with a loads of participation and we are really looking forward to it. Aviation and Defense Universe is the media partners with this show and we are going to give you the live coverage from tomorrow onwards. DEFIA 2023's main focal shall be the upgraded role of Greece in the geopolitical forefront of the Eastern Mediterranean and the Balkans and as the rebirth of the Helen defense industry. Now, strengthening the Hellenic defense industry is a strategic goal of Hellenic government and DEFIA shall uh, act as a hub for this cooperation. DEFIA 2023 uh, shall see the participation of 350 exhibitors from around 27 countries. We will see a lot of country pavilions here um, and uh, the, this, even the single participation of various countries where a single company is representing a, con uh, a country. Uh, we are about to see companies from Israel, Cyprus, Czech, uh, Republic, uh, Germany, uh, USA, Slovakia and, and many more. Along with the Greek Minister of Defence and Deputy Minister, at least eight more Defence Ministers are expected to attend the International Defence and Security Exhibition. They are uh, going to be from Bosnia and Herzegovina, uh, Herzegovina uh, Bulgaria, Cyprus, Georgia, Italy, North Macedonia, Romania and Slovakia. The DEFI exhibition will showcase new weapon systems, innovative technologies, latest uh, advancements in the field of defence equipment. Uh, from both the domestic and international markets. Now, the representatives from major companies in the industry will also uh, be informing the visitors um, about the latest developments in the defense systems. And not only this, I mean, not only from the Hellenic defense industry the, um, and the Greek armed forces, the Def uh, DEFIA is also going to emphasize on the European and NATO initiatives like the European Defence Fund, uh, the NATO Defence Innovation Initiatives and uh, NATO Innovation Funds. So uh, in in next three days, we are going to see a lot of uh, conferences and talks going on um, at various uh, times during the, uh, the DEFIA show. And all the three days we have very interesting talks like uh, the NATO Defence Innovation Initiatives have um, a, a conference then European Defense Fund uh, there will be presentation of the Czech defense industry and uh, many more I have begin uh, uh, scanning the halls at DEFIA and I begin with hall 2 hall 2 uh, we have the Israel pavilion the, com uh, the country Israel pavilion where we have Controp, Elvit Systems, Eldor, Sebat, Emton, Hagor uh, IAI, Smart Shooter, Magam Safety, Omnisys, of course, Rafael. Well, uh, in Sibat, we will we can see uh, a lot of companies who are who comprise of Sibat, uh, the Israel uh, Israeli Defense uh, Group. They are actively participating in the show.
And next I come to Slovakia, the pavilion of Slovakia. A very well defined and planned exhibition where the companies are exhibiting according to their uh, countries. And this is very interesting. Israeli Pavilion, the Israel Pavilion and United Arab Emirates Pavilion is being divided by just a single country in between which is Slovakia. When I'm passing, when I'm walking by, you can see, uh, it really would see that I was coming from the alley from there. When I'm crossing the Israel Pavilion, I reach Slovakia and then suddenly I come to United Arab Emirates. Yes, Edge Group is uh, presenting here all its uh, equipment, its capabilities here in a very good scale. This whole uh, pavilion is Edge Group Pavilion. This pavilion is, uh, will be known as United Arab Emirates National Pavilion. Now this is Swamli and Leonardo together and this is by the Cyprus Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Now we come to Czech Republic Pavilion. Yes, a lot of companies together in a pavilion, the Czech Republic Pavilion. We have Aero, Avec, uh, Era, Jadaz, Space Now, Explosia and many more. I shall now take you to the French Pavilion, the France Country Pavilion. We begin with Dassault Aviation. We have Airbus, Arcos, uh, MBDA, Naval, uh, Naval Group, Safran, Nexter, Thales. All the big wigs in the French defense industry are participating in this show. Well, uh, France and Greece have long uh, defense ties and uh, France has always been an aid to the Mediterranean countries uh, when it comes to defense uh, and military equipment. A lot of trade, a lot of buying, purchasing also happens uh, between France and Greece. So France Pavilion is a very important pavilion in this show. Not done with the French pavilion yet. I'm going towards Thales, MBDA, and many more.
Also Aviation, where we started from. Rafale International. And just opposite to it is MBD. Hall 3, and I begin with Cypress Pavilion. Well, uh, to tell my audience, this was the same place uh, Cypress Pavilion was in 2021 as well. Uh, they're not the same companies. So we'll just quickly go through the companies. Hello. From Cyprus, we have Aditus, Selog, Cyric, and Corp, Signal uh, Generics. Well, uh, Cyprus is uh, another of the Mediterranean countries which is strategically very important uh, when it comes to defense and military and Cyprus has always been great friends with Greece so uh, their participation is equally important in this show. It is complete dedicated to Hellenic Aerospace Security and Defense Industries Group. Halvik, um, they had their representation at IDEX as well with a lesser number of companies but here they are uh, participating with their whole group we have companies like future tech axon infodas and many more who are the part of this hellenic group here big from greece the work is going on in full swing because they need to finish everything by tonight. front of the press center all three has pavilions uh, country pavilions of Austria Germany and of course the Hellenic uh, aerospace and defense industry Pavilion of Hellenic uh, National Defense General Staff. present today and the pavilion is more or less ready in fact meetings are going on now I have arrived at the German pavilion Participation from Germany will see Future Tech, Mercedes, uh, Rheinmetall, ThyssenKrupp, uh, companies like uh, them, Atlas, to name a few.
huge pavilion of Hellenic aerospace industry. Hall 4 has a presence of US and Italy. At one side is all the US companies. I'm starting my journey with Lockheed Martin here. Now this is a static display area of the exhibition where we have uh, some land systems as well as uh, from by the companies as well as uh, a, a copter which is there. So uh, a good representation uh, when it comes to the static display as well.